Wedding photographers, you trying to figure out what products to offer your clients to make more money? Well, stay tuned. All right, we live in a world today where clients can get whatever they want, or at least they think they can, online. But we all know at the end of the day, it is not the same quality of product. In some cases, it might be damn close. But for the most part, if you offer a unique product for your clients, you won't have to compete with those big box or online stores, right? And so for us as a studio, uh, we do not typically offer straight up prints and canvas. Ah, let me rephrase. Of course we offer prints and canvas, but when I say we don't offer it, it's not something that we're pushing hard to clients. Instead, what we're trying to do is offer a very unique set of products uh, to our clients so that they want to spend money in our studio. Now, as a studio, of course, I'm delivering some level of digital product to my client. I have to, it's the world we live in today. There's no escaping it. So how do we convince our clients that even though you have those digital files, here's some products we offer that are extremely unique uh, that you may want for your home. And I think that's the key word, right? Extremely unique. And so you have to offer those products. Now you can go to trade shows like Shutterfest and uh, Imaging, and you'll see that the labs are there and they're showcasing their, their new products, right? But at the end of the day, prints and canvas, even metals, uh, they're all the same at this point. And so how in, a, in, in a, a sea of sameness do you stand out you know, from your competitors? What products, right? Maybe you're even a new photographer getting into it and you're trying to figure out like, what do I even offer? Where do I start? Because when you go to these trade shows, there's, there's so many products uh, for you to offer and it can be overwhelming. I know because in the beginning when I started as a wedding photographer, I was like, my price sheet was just getting out of control, right? It was like a quadfold uh, because I was trying to offer everything. Oh, I'm gonna offer gift cards. I'm gonna offer ornaments. I'm gonna offer jewelry. I'm gonna, no, stop it, right? Instead, focus on more unique and high-end products. So for example, I believe every wedding photographer absolutely should offer albums in their packages, okay? Don't offer just coverage only. I think that's a miss. Don't offer coverage plus digital. I think that's also a miss. Start incorporating the delivery of albums as part of your coverage. They, like there's no option. So working in our studio, there's absolutely no option. The client is going to get an album as part of their delivery. Uh, now, the size of the album, um, what leather material they use, that may change and that's fine. You can have different tiers of albums. That's the part where you want to really, really go, hey, we get wedding couples. This is what we do, this is what we offer, okay? So make sure you're offering an album at some level. Another product I highly recommend you carrying or consider carrying are acrylic blocks. And so acrylic blocks uh, are, I think, extremely unique. Uh, this particular one is about, I believe it's an inch and a half uh, thick. Uh, now, not all acrylic blocks are created the same. And so you'll want to ask the question. Some acrylic blocks, cheaper ones, they actually print on the acrylic, okay? Now, maybe you don't care, maybe you don't even know the difference or why you should care. So there are good companies out there that do printing on the block, but the color gamut is not the same, not even close, as a photographic print. So the ones we tend to offer are photographic prints that are adhered to the acrylic. And the reason that's important is because, and while your client may never know, you may wanna offer a quality product. Uh, so it's gonna be a little bit more expensive and uh, what you're gonna end up doing here is with this acrylic block is they're going to print on photographic paper. So you get the full gamut. We use metallic paper because the metallic paper, while it may be somewhat hard to see here with the lights and the camera, uh, you're gonna get a, a, that kind of like vibrancy that you just don't get on uh, a printer that's printing on the acrylic. So look for that um, in, your, in your lap. Another product that we offer, of course we offer metals and of course we offer canvas, but how do we jazz that up a little bit, right? And one of the products we offer now, we don't really offer this size, but this is a perfect way to show samples in your studio, right? So this is uh, like an 1114, 1116 uh, framed metal. Now, when we're talking to clients, now this is a matte metal as well. So we're showing our clients full samples on the wall, but if I wanna upgrade and have a different uh, um, you know, set of frame, different colors, things like that, I'm showing them now, here's a smaller version of it. Now, obviously, it's a high school senior, but these are the kind of products you wanna have in your studio. So we're elevating 
the metal and now it's a framed metal, right? So this looks like it belongs in a home versus metals sometimes can look like they just belong in a commercial space. It's almost too modern, but you put that frame around it, right? Black frame, brown frame, white frame, uh, give them some options, it's gonna look incredible. And then one last product I'd highly consider you offering is, and you probably offer it today, canvas. But once again, let's elevate that. We offer framed canvas, right? And so same kind of deal. Uh, canvas, people can get canvas at, at Sam's Club, right? Um, they can get canvas at a multitude of places online. Framed canvas though, this is, feels, looks like more of a high-end product, right? And so you're trying to figure out as you're getting started, what products are my clients gonna be willing to spend more money on? Well, the products I showed you today, those are the products they'll be willing to uh, spend more money on. Um, full transparency, I get all of this from h, h Color Lab, right? And so check down below in the description. I'll leave a special down there. I'll work with h h and figure out something to get you guys, some, maybe some samples to get going. But you want to have these samples even in this small size. How many of you didn't even think about that? Like just getting these smaller sizes to show your uh, customers some samples, especially if you don't have a studio, you're, you're right. It's much easier to show them when you got this small stuff. You can put it in a kind of roller bag and uh, really showcase for your clients. If you want to do previews in their home, right, you can do it that way. So these are the products I would highly recommend. Check out h, &H Color Lab. Create an account. It's free. And I think you get 25% off your first order with them. So if you've never ordered with them before, place an order, order some of these samples I showed you, the albums, the acrylics, the canvas, the metals, all of that I get from them. I love their quality. I love their product. I think you will too. We'll see you in the next video.